hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is noninga we are starting off this makeup look today i did my hair very rare occasion um and for that kindly subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and also hit the bell notification we have started with prepping our skin um and we started off with hyaluronic acid followed by a face primer the face primer that i used was by makeup revolution their pore blur prime primer it's a mattifying primer very beautiful and very smoothening i love it and now i'm just going to go in with a dark brown pencil and i'm going to fill in my eyebrows because eyebrows do frame the face as i always say you cannot fail to do your eyebrows and then now i just made sure that i you know, define the eyebrows using a contour, not a contour, using a concealer. And the concealer that I used is the Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer, and that is the shade Fawn. I absolutely love that concealer because it is the one I found that it has a shade that is my skin tone. And then now I'm just going to draw the outline of this look. As you guys saw from the beginning of the video, this is a very, it's supposed to be a monochrome eyeshadow look, but it's also very bright. So I decided because I don't want to do a lot of blending, uh, I want you to have like a sharp edge. So I decided to do the outline first of using an eyeshadow. It's like a teal blue, I don't know, colors. This is like a sea blue, sea green eyeshadow color and teal. It's almost like teal. And I used an angle, a small angle brush to draw the outline and then later fill it in all over my eyelid. And then uh, I've just applied like a teal eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. And below it, uh, below the pencil eyeliner, I'm just going to apply the same, same shade that I used as eyeshadow. And I'm using it to like apply it below on my lower lid also. And then now I have applied some, um, some glitter glue. And on top of the glitter glue, I'm going to apply these teal glitters all over the place i could have easily just done at the center only but i ended up just going glitter crazy sometimes glitter makes you do things that you hadn't planned to do so i ended up applying it all over the eyeshadow and i ended up creating like this shiny effect like this shiny eyeshadow um instead of the pale um powder eyeshadow that i had used and then now we're just going to go in with some blue liner and i'm not going to make a thick eyeliner i'm just going to like draw um, a shape uh using the eyeliner it's a dark blue eyeliner now it's time for foundation and for foundation i am going to apply this clinic even better foundation this is the shade spice my perfect shade match for my skin tone especially after i apply it you're going to see how perfect it is like on my skin tone so i'm just going to apply it all over my face all over all over all over all over my face and i'm just using a brush this time around instead of a beauty blender i think my brushes were dirty if i'm not wrong or my beauty blenders were dirty one of the two and then because i hadn't blended out the upper part of the uh concealer that i applied to define my eyebrows i'm just going to do that now so i'm just going to make sure that it's blended really well into the foundation I don't know why this foundation mysteriously looks like it's not my shade like it's slightly darker or something of the sort how huh, very strange maybe it's the undertones um but we are going to ignore that and then we are going to use this a uh, super stay concealer and it's the shade um honey i believe because it's a really light shade for me but I don't mind for this look because I really want bright under eyes. And we are going to offset that brightness, that excessive, excessive brightness with proper blending. So I've blended it in using a brush first and then I've blended it in using a beauty blender again. And now we are going to apply a setting powder that is, you know, has color in it just to offset the excess brightness so that it doesn't look so weird. And I think I used the Black Opal setting powder just for my under eyes. And now we're going to remove the excess powder before we proceed to the next step, which I believe is blush. The lighting was a bit confusing over there. So I did apply blush because as you can see, the canvas is a bit 
too bare just with the eyeshadow alone so i've decided to do blush the tight in with the whole hair eyeshadow thing so and uh, then i'm just going to go in with my usual highlighter which is the nyx highlighter in the shade golden hour i love this highlighter so much it's called the nyx high glass illuminating powder and that's the shade golden hour love it and because the lowest part was too um green and teal i decided to go in with a little bit of mascara just to give my lashes you know a moment my lower lashes a moment and then now we're going to go in with this brown <laughs> pencil my usual i don't even think it was brown i think it was black i always love a black pencil but i'm going to go in with a brown lipstick by luron luron is usually manufactured in kenya if i'm not wrong it's just a brown this is their shade called dark chocolate it's a bit hard to blend but i love the shade color so this is the shade dark chocolate by luron if you're interested not l'oreal luron and then we are going to go in with this i used to love this makeup combination when this particular lipstick combination when i just started my youtube channel i've gone in with an illegal lipstick uh that is really light so just to apply in the center of my lips and then after that i'm going to go in with this the maybelline lifter gloss just to make sure that the lips are popping you know i wanted to create like a nude lip color for my skin tone because i don't have a particular nude that actually matches my skin tone and as you can see it looks really natural no one would even tell that i've applied any lipstick leave alone two lipsticks and then now i'm just going to like chisel my face further i know i said i don't contour my face that's not really contouring because i'm actually just using the same same you know i just want to create a contrast between where the blush starts yeah, and the rest of my face sort of to give it a chiseled look but not really contouring my face is as chiseled as it possibly can be i have high cheek cheekbones prominent cheekbones yeah and guys this is the final look i hope you enjoy it it is unique it's beautiful it makes your eyes pop and your eyes are the center of it all i just felt like teal matches this hair color and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.